My next project, I'm going to redesign this airplane and change it to a 90 EDF fan unit, which I've already done, and it's this one right here. This will be my process of how I built the airplane. So let's get started. Thanks. This is a foam board, and I've already designed the wing for it. And the next thing I'm going to do is make an air, airfoil by uh, creating a little lip like this. So this is my process of building this airplane. Let's get started. Using Walmart foam board, this is now my airfoil. I took off paper off this side so it would be easier to fold a, make a crease. I put tape on the longer edges and also put a 45 degree bevel so it will fold nicely and then make a crease. These are aero shafts that I will just use for the wing support. Alright, so I got everything glued down, spars glued down. The closer you go to this edge, the higher the bevel will be. So I went about an inch back because I want this to be a slick wing for um, speed. So again, you can put it closer and it'll make that lip a little higher. All right, this is going to be my aileron. I'm just going to do that after I glue this all down. Okay. Here's the wing. Now done. And it turned out great. Okay, now let's, let's get to the uh, fuselage. Here's the plane coming together. I'm using these plans right here to uh, go off of. It's not going to be exact because I have to modify it. But if you go to parkjets.com and look up Super Bandit, that's the uh, uh, plans for the airplane. So here it is right here. This is the bottom part. I'm putting little um, quarter inches edge so it will butt against it and be easy to glue all the way down even here it will go here as well all right thanks a lot I got some of the pieces cut now nothing's glued down yet but the airplanes coming on nicely the uh, nose I'm working on next this is a cap on top and it's made it all the way down like this and this is the bottom part, and I'm using this foam from uh, Home Depot. I'm going to cut three of these out and then use uh, a sander to uh, sand the edges down. Alright, so I, I glue the nose on now, and I'll just cut this edge off, and that's going to be my nose, and I'm going to use a sander to sand it. On the fuselage, I went ahead and got these little strips, about a quarter inch strip. And I'll uh, double it up. That way it'll be easier to um, glue glue on the uh, top. After I sanded it, I went ahead and taped the uh, nose up using this tape from Walmart. I also use this color tape that you can get from twobrothers.com. I also use uh, foam safe paint from Create for Less. So I went ahead and painted the airplane. Uh, it's nothing glued yet. It was easier to paint it while everything is separate. So the plane's coming along good. I'm just going to keep moving forward with it. So here's the airplane coming together. I'm putting the servos in now. I'm running all the wires. Got the uh, motor end of the day. Nice big 90 millimeter ductile fan. Um, it's huge. So I'm just putting it together right, right now. And it will sit here in the middle where that, where that slot is. And then I'll glue it, glue it all down together. Alright, got the motor put in now. I don't know if you can see it. It's in there. And I just glued the crap out of it so it won't move. I'll use epoxy and then I use a hot glue. And I just glue all around it to make sure it won't move. I also put vents in for the ESC on both sides and those are just spoons cut in half 
plastic spoons. Now I'm going to work on the CG for the battery. So I've painted the back now. And also underneath, I'll show you that later. I put a battery tray in. I also put in foam for a cushion in case I wreck the airplane. And hopefully the battery won't get damaged. So the foam is from here all the way up to the nose and my receiver. To make a battery tray, I just got the, a battery that I was using, laid it flat, made a mark, made a mark, and another mark. Cut it out, and then just fold it all together. Alright, I'm going to keep moving with the project. It's looking great. The airplane's almost done. I've put pitcher hooks for a rubber band to go around it. Just using these right here. And you just get like some pliers and you just uh, bend it backwards and then glue it in. Then I put this top on now and the top part will sit inside. That way when I squeeze it to throw it, I'll have something sturdy to grab onto. Alright guys, plane's now done. I'm real happy in how it turned out. Next thing I need to do is do a flight of the airplane, but that will happen on part two. If you're wondering about my specs, here they are. All right. Here's the underneath. Thanks for watching. Wish me luck on the flight.